Hi everybody, Dr. Mysick here. As you well know, we've entered into cold and flu season here in Nebraska. And uh, we just wanted to spend a few minutes with you today and kind of give you some tips to arm yourself to keep you as healthy as possible during this season. And if in the event you do contract a virus or a flu bug, some of the things that we can do to help ease that and to get you feeling better in the shortest amount of time. One of the first things that we like to recommend, uh, especially during this time, but even throughout the year, is that we want to recommend that you stay hydrated. Uh, but in particular during the winter, as the moisture content usually goes down in the air, um, we want to make sure that we're hydrated to keep those mucous membranes soft and moist, particularly around the, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. The reason we, we recommend that is because by being hydrated, we prevent those tiny little skin cracks uh, from forming and that'll help keep those uh, viruses and bacteria from entering our body. So the question I get quite often is how much water do I do I need to take? Uh, years ago kind of the old rule of thumb was um, you know you have to drink eight ounces of water eight eight ounce glasses of water a day to keep hydrated and keep healthy. That number is a little bit different um, today we kind of look at your body weight. So if you're, uh, you know, 100 pounds versus 200 pounds, um, your water intake is going to vary. So what we want to do is we want to divide your body weight in pounds by two. So in this example, we have a 136 pound individual. Uh, you want to divide that in two. Uh, they're going to be at about 68 ounces per day. So 68 ounces of water for this individual per day. So you divide uh, your 68 by an 8 ounce glass. Uh, that comes out to about 8.5, 8 ounce glasses per day. So in this uh, particular example, it'd be somewhere around 8, 8.5, eight, uh, 8 ounce glasses. But for others, um, it would be more, and for others it would be a lot less. The next thing that we recommend to uh, have a healthy immune system is exercise. So exercise is considered an immunity booster. And as the new year has rolled around, a lot of people are out in the gym, they're getting a lot of exercise, something they haven't been used to in a, in a long time. Um, we don't want you to burn yourself out with exercise, but what's recommended is, is at least up to 30 minutes per day. And that can be something that we start very lightly, like walking or stretching but uh, at least 30 minutes a day to get started to get the, your, into your exercise routine and to also boost your immune system. One of the things that we, we look at in our overall body immunity is we want to make sure that we're getting the right and proper nutrition. And what we really recommend is a diet that's rich in, in vegetables and fruit because a diet uh, rich in vegetables and fruit will add antioxidants to your system, to your body, which will help not only to reduce the ris risk of stroke, but it will also enhance the immune defense system. So very, very important to keep getting fresh fruits and vegetables in the diet, and if possible, to buy and purchase organic fruits and vegetables. Which leads to another point in that our immune system, 70% of it is actually in our gut. 30% of our immune system is our skin and the outside covering of our body. So obviously we wanna keep that healthy. If we have any cuts or burns, we wanna make sure they're covered so we don't allow any bacteria or viruses to infiltrate our body. But 70% of our immune system is within our gut. We have to really be careful and, and, and concerned about our overall gut health. How do we do that? Well, some of the best things that we can do is to, uh, to take in good bacteria uh, that's found in probiotics or other foods that can also bring, bring you probiotics. But we want to increase our probiotics because they're our first line of defense in things getting past that gut barrier. So the more bacteria, the more good bacteria we have in our gut, the better our immune system is enhanced. So we want to make sure that our, our gastrointestinal tract is healthy at all times. Now we recommend a product here in our office by NutriWest 
called Total Probiotics. And in this um, proprietary bl blend, they have 70 billion colony forming units, which is a tremendous amount of, of, of uh, bacteria. They not only have the, the bacteria, the necessary and needed bacteria for our overall gut health, but it also has also the enzymes from our pancreas. So things like protease and lipase as well to help uh, give ourselves a very strong immune response in our gut. So when we look at supplement options, you know, there's just so many out there from very, you know, commercially prepared products like one a day to very advanced um, uh, nutritional supplements. One of the, the factors that I look for in multivitamins and minerals is that we want to make it sure it's a very highly absorbable source. So a lot of um, hard tablets and pills are very hard to digest and to absorb in the body, particularly um, vitamins because they have a lot of binders and fillers that can uh, reduce their absorbability. So we want, what we recommend in, at Heritage Chiropractic is, is a liquid vitamin that's taken once a day and we'll talk about that in just a moment but we want to make sure that all of the vitamins and minerals that you need are in that one vitamin and and product so things like a and b6 and b12 c and d as well as minerals things like chromium copper folic acid selenium calcium and zinc we also want to recommend something that has echinacea in it because echinacea is a natural uh, plant material and green tea has also been shown to uh, uh, been an immune booster for a lot of people. So looking at different vitamins and minerals, we've really, really come upon a, a vitamin and supplement that really has uh, hits all the bells and whistles for us. We recommend a product called Intramax here in the office. Intramax has over 415 ingredients, much more than any uh, store or commercially prepared uh, vitamin that you can pick up at any Walgreens or, or grocery store. It has 71 trace minerals. It, you know, it's rapidly absorbed in the cells immediately because it's liquid. So 415 ingredients, it's electrolyte rich, and the nice thing is, is that it's created without any heat processing. So, you know, the, the old adage that you... Uh, you have a, a raw vegetable, you get a lot of vitamins and minerals, but when you cook it, it kills a lot of that stuff off. And that's what happens in processing a lot of these uh, vitamins and minerals. They're heat uh, produced and processed. Uh, Intermax is never uh, heat pr processed. So you're getting everything that it says uh, in one single dose. Great product, we recommend that. Of course, as a chiropractor, one of the things that we would recommend uh, is that if you're sick, get adjusted. There's many studies that show that a regular chiropractic adjustment will enhance the immune system's response 250 to 400%. And, and an adjustment will also increase our white blood cell count, which helps to fight infection. So white blood cell count, great to uh, help kill off bacteria infections. Also, again, we want to stress that you want to drink lots of fluids when you're sick, including water, clear broth, or warm lemon mixtures. Great things to help keep you hydrated. Conversely, if you're ill, you're not feeling well, we want to avoid alcohol and caffeine as they can cause dehydration. We want to avoid sugary soft drinks or fruit juices. As sugar depresses the immune function, it also increases the inflammation of the body. So sugary soft drinks, not good. Fruit juices particularly aren't good during a time of, of sickness because they can depress our immune system. If you have a sore throat, always recommend just dissolving a little uh, salt in warm water and use it as a gargle. Uh, if you um, are into different salts, one of the ones that we recommend is a Himalayan pink salt. Make sure you listen to your body. So <clears throat> rest when you are tired, or particularly if you're fever, 
or you're coughing and stay at home. You don't want to uh, expose other people in your workplace or in your school when you're not feeling well. Um, it's just a good idea just to kind of rest and let your body heal on its own naturally. Well, one of the things that we uh, always recommend and at what a lot of grandmothers have recommended over the years is chicken soup. And chicken soup actually seems to relieve inflammation of the mucus linings and also assists in relieving nasal congestion. And what it's basically thought is, is that the warm steam coming off of the hot bowl of soup actually helps to hydrate the mucus linings and re reduces that nasal congestion. And if your house is, is dry, always recommend a humidifier or vaporizer in your room. That helps to moisten the air, helps to loosen up any congestion that you might have in your chest and in your sinuses. So let's follow up and finish up today with a little trivia on our presentation. So what can you do to help prevent catching the cold or the flu? A. Exercise. B. Eat fruits and vegetables rich in antioxidants. C. Take a daily multivitamin with minerals. Or D. All of the above. Well, the answer is D. All of the above. We want to make sure that we're getting the proper rest. We want to make sure we're getting the proper nutrition and hydration as well. Next question. How can you help relieve your symptoms if you are already sick? A. Drink fruit juices. B. Drink green tea. C. Drink coffee. Or D. Drink water. Or excuse me, drink warm lemon water. Well, the answer is B and D. Green tea or warm lemon water. Obviously, drinking caffeine uh, will help dehydrate you. Drinking sugary drinks, even fruit juices, can also increase your inflammation and reduce your immune response. True or false, eating chicken soup does not help you help when feeling ill or with a cold or a flu. Well, the answer is false. We find that research has shown that Actually, it seems to help reduce the inflammation and relieve nasal